When we use EFT, we usually start with a setup statement. And I say usually instead of always because sometimes I don't. Um, the other day, for example, I took action on something that I was feeling some um, discomfort and stress with. And as soon as I was done, I just burst into tears. And I instinctively started tapping through the points. Um, I was crying from a sense of relief and there was all sorts of different stuff happening in my body and not necessarily um, even in my thoughts. But by tapping on these points, I was just supporting my body in processing it. Um, another example would be, let's say you're watching the news and immediately notice the stress reaction in your body, but there's nothing happening around you that you need to fight or run away from. And so in that moment as well, because you're already in it, you can just start tapping through the points. Normally though, when we're tapping, whether you're tapping alone, or if you're in a session with me, or if we're tapping in a group together, we do what's called a setup statement. So you are setting up what you want to work on. And so you start tapping on the side of your hand. That is the first point for this setup statement. And it goes like this. You say, even though, and then you just focus on what you want to work on. So if it's something in the future, you could say, even though I'm worried about this presentation that I have to give tomorrow. And then notice where you're feeling the reaction to that in your body right now. So that m might look like, even though I am worried about this presentation that I have to do tomorrow, and I'm really feeling this um, pressure in my chest and this constriction in my throat. Let's say it's something from the past, even just from a few minutes ago. You could set it up like this. Even though he told me I was stupid. And then notice again where you're feeling it in your body. Even though he told me I was stupid and I feel like I'm going to vomit. I'm feeling this clenching in my stomach. And you can put descriptors there too. This red angry feeling or this um, shame feeling in my face or even simply I feel like I want to cry. You can also use the setup statement for physical pain in your body. So even though I'm having this back pain right now. And then check and see with that if there's any emotion that you're having around it right now. So even though I'm having this back pain and I'm feeling really depressed because it's been there for a long time and it feels like it'll never go away. And so in this setup statement is where you add whatever you're working on to set that up and then how you're feeling in your body. So when you are really feeling that and focusing on it, that is bringing in the exposure therapy piece of clinical EFT. And this setup statement also sets you up for the reminder phrase that, that you'll be using as you go through the tapping sequence. So for example, um, you know, this back pain or that presentation or this clenching feeling. So the second part of the setup statement has many different options as well. So usually we say, I deeply and completely forgive myself. So even though I'm stressed out about this thing tomorrow and I'm really feeling it in my body, 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Sometimes I throw um, the word forgive in there. I deeply and completely forgive myself. Um, sometimes in session, if um, there seems like there's a lot of resistance or judgment around what's happening in the body, I might say, um, I deeply and completely forgive myself, and I deeply and completely forgive my body. You can also um, use the word anyway. So even though I'm feeling depressed around this back pain because I've always had it, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Um, some other possible endings are, I'm okay right now. I'm doing my best. I am working on accepting myself. I have hope. My goldfish still loves me. I am starting to feel more compassion for myself. I have many good qualities. I'm doing the best I can. And then a recommendation for when you're doing this with kids is to, of course, keep it simple. And you can just end with, I'm okay, or I'm a good kid, which, of course, you can use for yourself as well. So the full setup statement then is, even though I am, and then where you're feeling it with your body, and then... I deeply and completely accept myself. And when you first focus on what you're tapping on, it might feel really big, like it is completely inside of you or it's so much around you. And by saying both parts, you start to separate from it a little bit. And so on your own, or even as I've been saying these examples, just check in and, and um, notice if you feel this for yourself. There becomes this separation and you become more of the observer of it. It might feel like the issue is getting smaller or maybe even that you're getting bigger. And it really allows some space there for whatever healing needs to happen. There is more of an open-heartedness and a curiosity that can come in there. And sometimes in session, um, let's say if it's, um, even though I really want to find my soulmate. I'll add in a, um, I'm just noticing it and I don't need to figure it out right now. And when I add that, I see my clients just visibly relax. And that really adds a space for more um, clear thinking more um, intuitive impulses and just to be able to tap into some resourcefulness and all of this is of course happening beneath um, the surface as we're using that setup statement so you repeat it three times and you can switch it up switch up what you're saying you can add in as many details as you want um, I'll say here that that is a huge benefit of working with a trained practitioner um, as I'm keeping notes and listening to everything that you say. I repeat back your words. Um, and so I switch it up with how much detail I add. As long as you are focusing on, focusing in on and focusing on what you're working on and how you're feeling right now, you cannot do it wrong. So you repeat it three times and then you do the tapping sequence with your reminder phrase all the way through the points. Ending under the arm, taking a breath and then checking in again. 
And sometimes things have shifted. Maybe the body sensation shifted from your stomach to your throat or your back, wherever. Um, maybe you've had a cognitive shift or maybe some anger is starting to come in now. And so when you do the setup statement again, add that new aspect in. Or you can add the word remaining. So even though I'm having this remaining clenching sensation in my stomach, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So when I first um, started tapping in 2007, um, I just followed the instructions. <laughs> I actually didn't really look any further into it, which is surprising because I am an insatiable lifelong student. Um, but I think I just felt such immediate relief um, that I didn't even question why I was tapping on the side of my hand. And so even if you stop this video at the end of this sentence, um, you will still get all of the benefits. You don't need to know what these specific points are. But I do know now that this side of the hand is tied in acupuncture to the small intestine meridian. And our small intestine is what filters through the food that we've eaten and decides what has value and nutrients and what will become a waste. So I thought that was extremely fascinating for the setup statement piece. It is also tied to the heart meridian, which of course brings in compassion, open-heartedness, and being in the present moment, awareness of this present moment. So I would love to hear um, these additional um, ending statements I just got from um, my manuals. And so if you know of any others, please comment below. I would love to hear about them and your experiences with what f works for you with the setup statement. I'll talk to you soon.